In this video, we're going to be talking about the skill choosing the best measure to describe the data. In describing the best measure, sorry, in using the best measure to describe the data, we want to find the best measure that represents whatever set of information they've given us. Um, we have three choices on which measures we're going to use. There are things called measures of central tendency. Measures of central tendency are mean, median, and mode, and sometimes range as well. Um, but here we're just dealing with mean, median, and mode, as you can see our three choices. Just a quick review, as I'm sure you already know, mode is the number that occurs most often in a data set, most often, mode. Median is when you find the middle value of a data set. So um, typically students work their way in, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, smallest, biggest, until you find that middle value, or you have to find the middle of two values if there is no singular middle value. <clears throat> or mean. Mean is the average. In other words, add them up, divide by the number of numbers. So we have three measures of central tendency, and we're going to choose which of them will best represent the data you're looking at. Okay? For <clears throat> questions that have a data set, like part A here and part B here, we typically will use mean or median to determine which measure is best to represent the data set. If there is no data set, then your answer will be mode, which number, <clears throat> excuse me, or value occurs most often. Okay? And we're going to break that down a little bit more. So part A says the following number of people attended the last nine screenings of a movie. And you see anywhere from 197, 198, all the way up to 295. It says which, which measure should be used to summarize the data. So which value would best summarize the data? Okay, median would be add them up, divide by the number of numbers. And we see anywhere from 197 to 295, which is a decent size range. Um, but when you look at these last and the first values, um, you see this last value, 295, kind of jumps in the range. So we went 197, 198, 200, 201, 202, 203, 207, 208, and then we have this big jump to 295, almost 90 additional um, points there. So this number right here is what we call an outlier, an outlier. And if you've never heard of an outlier before, the word is just like, the meaning is just like the word sounds. An outlier is a piece of data that lies outside the rest of the data. Okay, An outlier lies outside the majority of the data. So we see the majority of the data here, 197 to 208, just kind of creeping up a little bit at a time. They fall within kind of the same range. And then the 205, excuse me, the 295 is going to be our outlier. It lies way outside the data. Okay, so we have a data set, so we're not going to choose the mode. We don't need um, the number that occurs most often. So between mean and median, um, mean, add them up, divide by the number of numbers. If we did that, this 295 is going to make our average or mean higher than this majority of the data because that 295 divided by 9 is going to be much higher than the rest of these. So it's going to make our mean higher than we really want it to be to represent the majority of the data. So here we're going to choose median and the reason we're going to choose median is because that outlier is going to be accounted for but is not going to make the, um, the measure of the data significantly higher. So if we choose median, what you do is you cross off the biggest and the smallest, biggest and the smallest, and you work your way into the middle. And so that 295 doesn't make our data um, significantly higher. So in the case of part A, because we have an outlier, we're going to choose median. Okay. Um, some quick notes here. If you have an outlier, we're going to choose the median of our three choices, mean, median, and mode. If you can signify, if you can find an outlier, we're going to need to use the median so that that outlier doesn't throw off the center of our data. 
Part B says a car dealer has used cars for sale for the following amounts, 34000 excuse me, 3400 3500 3700 3800 4000 4100 4200 4300 and 4400 When you're looking at those numbers, they're increasing by 100 or 200 each time, but they fall right there all in kind of the same category. Okay? So to use the mean, add them up, divide by the number of numbers, this time would be appropriate. That would give us a nice average or central value to represent all of them. We wouldn't choose the median this time because there is no outlier. There's no excessively small number or excessively high number. And we wouldn't choose the mode. Again, we're going to choose the mode when they don't have a set of data. Okay. Part C says, in a survey, a soft drop soft drink company asks people to name as many brands of soft drinks as they can. Which measure gives the most frequently mentioned brand? And it, we're looking right there at the word most. Mode is what occurs most often. What number or numbers occur most often. They don't give us numbers specifically, but that's what they're asking us for. What occurs most frequently. So we will choose mode. Okay. So mode, when there is no data set, Median, when there is an outlier or outliers. And mean, when the data all lies right there, <clears throat> centralized, there is no outlier. Let's take a look at a second example. Part A says, Salma wants to determine which letter appears most often in her favorite poem which measure would she use? So we're looking at a question that has no data set and it has the words most often. So we're gonna choose mode. Part B, a car dealer has used cars for sale in the following amounts. You see our range going from 34,000 to 40, excuse me, 3,400 to 4,500. And you don't see any big jumps. You don't see a really small number at the beginning or really large value at the beginning. They're all kind of right there in the same range. So we're going to use mean. Add them up, divide by the number of numbers. Part C, a bakery sells nine types of sandwiches. Here are their calorie amounts. We have our smallest amount at 284 and our largest amount at 612. So when you're looking at this data set, all of the numbers from 572 to 612 are kind of all in a general category or a general range. The 284 is a big jump. There's a big jump between 284 and 2, excuse me, between 284 and 572. So this 284 is what we referred to before as the outlier. Um, that particular outlier is going to make, if we try to calculate the mean, it's going to make our mean a lot lower than the majority of the data. The majority of the data. So we will not use the mean, we won't use the mode, we'll use the median because there's an outlier here. So again, mode most often and doesn't have a data set usually. Mean is when they're all in that general range, we'll use mean, add them up, divide by the number of numbers. And if there's an outlier, that's when you use the median. I hope this helps you with your skill. If you have any additional questions, please ask your teacher.